We are here this afternoon to share with Michael and Sarah one of the most important moments of their lives. They have learned to know and to love each other and have now decided to live their lives together as husband and as wife. And we are gathered here for the joyful purpose of seeing them united in marriage. They have given to each other the testimony of their love and they have now come to seal that testimony by their vows before God and before all of us. It is at their request that we have gathered together. They have invited us to witness their vows, to share their joy, and as those whose hearts are closest to them, let us take heed to our responsibility to this union, this new creation, and pledge always to give them our love, our support, our blessings. Michael, if you will take Sarah and bring her forward. Take her arm, bring her forward, please. Michael and Sarah, I require and charge you both as you stand in the presence of God, before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed, that having duly considered the holy covenant you are about to make, you do now declare before this company your pledge of faith, each to the other. Be well assured that if these solemn vows be faithfully kept, as God's word demands, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of the Heavenly Father, God will bless your marriage, will grant fulfillment in it, and will establish your home in peace. Let me now ask you how you will commit yourselves to each other. Michael, will you take Sarah to be your wife? Will you love and respect her? Will you always be honest with her? And will you stand by her through whatever may come? If so, say, I will. I will. Sarah, will you take Michael to be your husband? Will you love and respect him? Will you always be honest with him? And will you stand by him through whatever may come? If so, would you say, I will? I will. Let us pray. Father, we come before you today with celebration ringing in our hearts. For today, Michael and Sarah are joining their lives together in love, not only for one another, but love for you. Because, Father, the institution of marriage was created and is ordained by you because you love us. Father, it's their desire this day to return your love. May Mike and Sarah in their life together realize that a truly happy marriage is built on a foundation of love for you. We pray that in the joining of these two on this day, that it would not just be a ceremony, but it would be a worship service for you, establishing love in this newly founded home. We pray that you would just pour out a blessing upon Mike and Sarah. And Father, most of all, we want to give honor and glory to you for all that you do for us. In your precious name, amen. amen. Someone once said, love makes burdens lighter because you, sh you divide them. Love makes joys more intense because you share them. And love makes all things ever anew. But for love to do that, it has to be built on faithfulness in the little things as well as the big. To be faithful in the little things is not always easy. There will be times when you irritate each other, when you hurt each other, and at those times, you'll be tempted to withdraw from one another. Because at those times, to be honest, is to risk being hurt even more. But if you will take that risk and work through the moments like that, as well as the moments of joy, you will find that they give you an opportunity to take another step in creating for your marriage a deepening and bonding between you.
Michael, if you and Sarah will turn and face each other, I will ask you to repeat your vows to one another. Michael, would you repeat after me? I, Michael. I, Michael. Take you, Sarah. Take you, Sarah. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to the love of God. According to the love of God. Likewise, Sarah, would you repeat your vows to Michael? I, Sarah. I, Sarah. Take you, Michael. Take you, Michael. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to the love of God. According to the love of God. Okay, may I have the rings, please? The wedding ring, made of gold and having no beginning and no end, is the symbolness of the preciousness of your love and the endlessness of your commitment so long as you both shall live. Michael, take this ring. And place it on Sarah's hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. For I choose you to be my wife. For I choose you to be my wife. This day and every day. This day and every day. Likewise, Sarah, take this ring and place it upon Michael's hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. For I choose you to be my husband. For I choose you to be my husband. This day and every day. This day and every day. Okay, now if you will turn and face me, please. Michael and Sarah, you are now entering that holy estate of matrimony which is the deepest mystery of human experience and a type of Christ's love for the church. Congregation, please bow your heads for prayer. Our Father, we thank you for your word, that word which does become a light to our feet, a guide for our pathway, that word which declares what really brings joy and happiness, fulfillment to our lives. We thank you for that word which speaks of a man leaving his father and mother and uniting with his wife and they two becoming one flesh. We thank you for the blessing of God upon the institution of marriage. We thank you now for Mike and Sarah. We pray, O oh God, that you will bless their lives together, help them as they establish their home, that it will be a home where Christ is honored and glorified and lifted up and exalted. Lord, we want more than anything else that they shall be a couple that will serve you faithfully. And we believe that's what they want too. As they have committed themselves to you, as they have given their lives to you, O oh God, now in the blended marriage, we pray, O oh God, that you will take and bless their union for the glory of God, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.
Michael and Sarah. We have heard you promise to give yourselves to each other, to share your lives in marriage. And we recognize and respect the covenant that you have made here this afternoon. It is not simply a minister standing before you that makes your marriage real, but the sincerity, the commitment you have made here before your family, your friends, and in the sight of God. And so in the light of the vows that you have made and on behalf of everyone present, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife together. You may kiss your bride. If you'll now turn and face the congregation, it is my privilege to present to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Michael Jones. Thank you. 